The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you by Rafter P Construction. Stick around to learn more about Rafter P's design build process and of course, the biggest deer in the world. Well, howdy everybody. Welcome to the show in the Burnett County, Texas, where today we're at Lone Hollow Whitetails. Today, Deer and Wildlife Stories comes to you from just outside of Lamb Passes, Texas in Burnett County. We'll be at the Tributary Sporting Club and we'll feature Lone Hollow Whitetails. When I tell you this place is huge, I mean, this place is huge. It is 17,000 acres of up and down and rolling hills in some of the most beautiful habitat in the state of Texas. So the last time that I was on this particular piece of property, there were a bunch of people here. It was a big deal. It was called the TDA Lone Hollow Whitetail Summit. I'm Grant Garner. I'm the pen manager here at Lone Hollow Whitetails. I focus mostly on the whitetail deer here in the pens, but the property has 20 to 25 species of exotics as well, including sable and kudu and Gimsbach, bison, and many more. I think it's important to point out to people that uh, these animals all have value, and thank God that they do. Because if they didn't have value, people wouldn't be taking care of them. And think about that. If animals don't have value, people don't care about them. And so I'm grateful to people like the landowner here and the people that work here and other landowners that they love animals. They see value in animals and they're gonna provide the habitat for the animals to make sure that not just those animals are here for years to come, but the generations to come. One of the priorities here at Tributary Sporting Club is the conservation of many endangered species from Africa and elsewhere in the world. For instance, our addicts herd, once very scarce in the world, we have a thriving herd here in the hill country. The owner of this piece of property, just like any big piece of property, uh, I like to say has a love affair with nature. And the reason why I say that is because just take a look at the place. They want to preserve this and make it better than the way it was when they got it. And it's not just with the native wildlife either. They've also got exotics out here that are thriving. There's something in conservation that we call conservation through commerce. And what that means is that uh, the animals need to have value. If the animals don't have value, then nobody's gonna take care of the animals. And the animals should have value. Uh, they're, they're, uh, when people put a value on them, they, they, uh, they're gonna take care of them. You know, many people that live in the city, they, they don't put any value on wildlife at all. But it's the people that own big pieces of property like this that place a high value on the wildlife and they take care of them. This place is really neat and has a lot of cool features on it. We have six miles of Colorado River that then dumps into Lake Buchanan. There's a silver mine on the ranch. There's caves and mountains and old historic home sites and homesteads. It's definitely a dream come true to raise my family on this place and get to enjoy all it has to offer. So the name Tributary Sporting Club automatically implies tributaries, which is water, okay? And there's a lot of water here which is very, very valuable for any, not just any piece of property, but for any wildlife. So you can't help but be impressed when you come out here. And uh, when you take a look at the headquarters area, I mean, the, it looks like a little town. I mean, there's buildings all over this gigantic lodge and swimming pool overlooking this beautiful area. And that's all cool, I like all that. But to me, the most interesting part of the entire piece of property is the old silver mine here. You take a look at that and it's like the old, as I call them, cowboy movies, the westerns. I mean, you, your mind just starts imagining, wonder how long ago that mine was actually operational. Wonder where the guys lived that worked in that mine because we are so far away from the closest town. You gotta wonder how much silver was in that mine, how much is left in that mine. And so there's a lot of history and as I look at it, I think, boy, it kind of just, it just makes me think that is the most favorite part of the ranch to me. I think what's neat that if uh, you were to be blindfolded and then taken to the middle of this piece of property and then you open up the blindfold, it'd be like, where are you? Are you in Namibia? Are you in South Africa, Zimbabwe? No, you're right here in the center of Texas in Burnett County on the Tributary Sporting Club. And when you take a look at the animals out here, I mean, 
These are animals, these are species of animals that are native to Africa and they're doing great here. And the reason why is because it's called conservation through commerce and the landowner wants to make sure and do the best that he can for all the species of animals that are living here. So anybody in the deer business in Texas and uh, just about anywhere in the country has heard of Lone Hollow Whitetails. And the reason why is because they're legendary. I mean, they've been around a long, long time. They've grown some really big deer and the pedigrees are incredible. And there's people that literally, they have started their entire deer breeder program by dealing with people like the folks here at Lone Hollow Whitetails. The pens here at Lone Hollow are big and uh, with the oak trees in there, the deer, they feel at home. I mean, the fall time, they've got plenty of acres to eat. Uh, of course, they're provided food and water 24 seven year round, but uh, the pens are big. They have a lot of room to roam. So it was three years ago that I was out here in this very same pen. And I can tell you right now, just from the looks of them, if these are two year olds, they're all so much bigger than they were. But who is that guy right there? So that's a new buck we call Bolt. Okay. He is beautiful. Yeah, Tell me about him. What's his pedigree? So he's, um, his dad is named Jekyll. Okay. And he's out of a G3 doe. Okay. So, I mean, pedigree wise, he's a nice deer, but uh, are you going to use him for breeding? I mean, is he one of the quote lone hollow breeders? He's going to be one of our main guys. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I mean, he's beautiful. I mean, he's got he's got the look that everybody wants. Well, I mean, that look is hard to make. Yeah. We don't have a ton of deer that look like that. So yeah. uh, we're definitely going to keep him and see if we can't make a bunch of those. Okay. And all these deer in the pen are too? Yes. Okay. All right. So as you look through this pen and you wind up seeing that deer, for example, do uh, you have his mom? We actually sold his mother. No. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, a couple of years ago, she was you know, one of the herd and uh, she sold to a ranch and she's in a pasture in East Texas. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna point something out to y'all. Okay, as you look at, at Bolt right there, okay, I guess you sold his mom when he was a baby. And he would have no, been. And you had no idea that he was gonna turn into that. Yes, sir. Okay. So and what created him was the right breeding, but his mom really created him. And so what they've got, they've got does out here at Lone Hollow that they wind up putting packages together that if uh, you've got a pasture, you wanna in, improve your genetics, they sell them, and the thing about it is they've improved their genetics so much that uh, the genetics, I mean, his mom went to somebody just as a pasture deer, okay? So that, is, that blows my mind because all your deer, I mean, you're, all your deer have gotten so much bigger. And when you look at the bucks out here, we're gonna show you a lot more bucks in the show, but you look at the bucks, they've got their sisters for sale, their moms for sale. And, and some of these sisters and moms are going to be, uh, the, I mean, it's going to be a gem. I mean, somebody's going to get a heck of a steal yeah. because you don't know what their fawns are going to turn into. Yeah. So it's pretty exciting. It. It, it's really pretty exciting to be able to know that somebody actually has yeah. Bolt's mom out in the pasture and just bought it as a pasture deer. And so. someone will buy one this year. Oh, somebody, then, I'm sure a lot of them. And in two years, we'll regret it. <laughs> they're gonna, yeah, they're going to call you up and say, hey, hey. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> if somebody wants more information about coming out here, and buying does or buying bucks, give them a telephone number. Uh, you can call me 936-355-6171. Okay, and they, and they not just deer, they, they're selling semen as well. So, all right, so you got any other deer you wanna take me to now? Yes, sir, I've got plenty of deer to show you. Okay, where are we going? Let's go see Blitz. All right, buddy, let's go. All right, so that's Blitz, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, well, but he's four this year. Okay, and last year I remember I remember seeing pictures of him last year. He was so beautiful, typical. What happened? Well, it looks like he boogered up his left side as yeah. he was growing out. Um, his right side is phenomenal, but oh, yeah. um, that left side was real late this year and never quite caught up. Yeah, but he's still a good looking deer. Yeah, I mean, he's great. And so uh, we can show you what he looked like at three. And uh, and you can see that, uh, I mean, that clearly is from damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, and see so it's not uh, a genetic issue for, for absolute positive. But tell me about his pedigree. And, and don't you have a partner on him? Yeah, so he's a G3 yep. over Phenom's Dam. Wow, okay. And our partners are out of Chatham, Alabama. Okay. ZFG Whitetails. So you've got you've got a partner. Now, we're in Texas. you got an Alabama partner. Yes, sir. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, George and Bucky, great people. And, okay. And uh, we've had a ball getting to know them. Okay, so the cool thing about that is in partnerships, it doesn't just stay in, in one state. I mean, I like the fact that you got a partner in Alabama. That's fantastic, because yeah. what happens is they'll wind up collect semen on them, 
and and basically share the wealth. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the that's that's good. So okay, uh, all right. Well, Blitz is beautiful, but uh, let me ask you a question. You had a buck. What was his name? Angus. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he's he's two this year, right? Yes, sir. Uh, we had Ang Angus as a two year old. Yep. And we actually ended up cutting him off last week, so he didn't make it to, 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 to the that. video. Okay, yeah. but but you got pictures and video of him? Yes, and I want to show you because okay. he was phenomenal. Okay, so tell me about his pedigree. So he's a brain freeze yep. on Stampede's womb sister. So wow. G2, GXL, King George 116. Okay, so how wide was he? Because I know he had to be wide. So he's 39 inches inside, and he was 420 inches gross. As a two-year-old? As a two-year-old. What do you think? So that's a heck of a combination <laughs> of stats. That's a big two-year-old. So let me ask you this. Every one of your deer I know is in NADAR, the North American Deer Registry, and you can see pedigrees, and they're all long, deep, and wide, okay? But tell everybody how excited you are about this CWD susceptibility test that is available from NADAR. I mean, how is that going to be a game changer for us all? Well, right now we need everything we can to go our way. Mm -hmm. We're looking for something to come in our favor, and this may be the opportunity to produce resistant animals. See, what, what's happening is uh, deer farms are a great way to do research on animals, and when you've got deer like this, okay, we've got, these are captive herds, and so we can do science. We can use science to actually study chronic wasting disease, and what's happening is that NADAR really has found a way to be able to test the susceptibility of these deer. And so that is gonna be a game changer for our industry and a game changer for anybody with white-tailed deer. All right, so when we get back from the break, we're gonna introduce you to two bucks. One of them is undisputed, and one of them is named Pecos, and you're gonna love them both. All right, so uh, the buck we're looking at, that guy right there, who's that, undisputed? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, as you look at him, earlier in the program, we mentioned partnerships, and, uh, and partnerships are becoming more and more commonplace in the deer industry, and y'all have got a partner on that deer, they're friends of mine, tell everybody who it is. Yes, uh, excellent partners. Don and Sandy Gilchrist at with G2. G2. Yeah. Yep, with G2 Ranch. And so uh, Don and Sandy have been uh, the great friends of ours for a long, long time. And uh, tell everybody, why would Don and Sandy want to partner on a deer? What are the benefits of that? Well, they like that look as much as we do. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to bring that into their herd. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, apart from just purchasing straws of semen, um, they wanted to invest into that product a little bit more. Okay. Right? So if somebody wanted to buy some of that semen out of him, they're going to benefit from that purchase as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, so partnerships are, are something commonplace, as we said, but uh, there's a deer here and, and we're fixing to show him to you. That deer right there. Who is that? Yeah. Pecos. Holy smokes. How old is he? Pecos is four this year. We've been breeding him since he was a two-year-old. Okay. Uh, and uh, tell me his pedigree. He's Gunslinger, Secret Weapon, Gladiator 2, Sudden Impact. Okay, boy, he's got those tines of his daddy, doesn't he? He's definitely got a Gunslinger look to yeah, him. Yeah, he does. Okay, so uh, you have a partner on him? We do. Um, the same partner that we had on Blitz yep. is our, our George and Bucky out of Alabama is our partners on him as well. Really? Yeah. So well, they, that's fantastic. Yeah, they grabbed a couple of our best ones. Okay, so are they breeding with him over there? Oh, absolutely. And uh, if you've been breeding with him since he was two, Clearly, you've got some yearlings on the ground now. What do they look like? He's got many of our best yearlings. Really? Yeah, so he's he's not wasting no time. How wide do you think he is? He was 29 inches inside last year. He's he's a little bit more this year, so I'm gonna give him 30 or 31. Well, he's absolutely beautiful. He's he's perfect. I mean, he's perfect, and he's got the perfect pedigree, too. So who is this blue tag guy right up here close? He is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is Royal, and he was our favorite deer last year. And he came back this year at three years old, just the exact same look. Boy, he's calm. Was he a bottle baby? No, he's not. He just... He just likes peanuts. Yeah, he's just a good... <laughs> he's a fan. Look at that. I mean, yeah. what a frame. I mean, just that right there is a beautiful deer. And that's what we're trying to do with him, is we're going to breed the heck out of him yep. and see how many deer we can make that look like that. So when people buy does, they can buy does that are bred to Royal. Yes. And that's the... That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so today's market is as competitive as ever in the deer breeding For world, sure. and uh, it is really hard to get a breeder buck. And uh, so both these guys are unbelievable. Tell everybody about Undisputed, really what makes him a breeder buck. When Undisputed was two years old, he was so much bigger and better looking. He stood out from the crowd, and we knew he was special. Mm -hmm. And 
year after year he comes back and produces that excellent rack that we love with the great width tons of inches and this will be the third year in a row that he's produced okay so he's consistent what about his offspring i mean have they done well we'll have his first yearling group this summer and yeah he's carrying on the width is what we're most excited to see in his yearlings yeah he's just got that look yeah okay well what about pecos then tell me about him yeah so pecos is uh he's probably my favorite rack i've ever grown mm -hmm. and, and he's grown thousands i'm telling you he's grown oh, i guarantee over a thousand <laughs> okay so that means something but He's absolutely beautiful. He's the full package. Yep. He has the beams, he has the tying length, he has the width, he has the pedigree. He is the full, complete deer. And see, when it comes to making a breeder deer anymore, it's not just about the look. It is about the paper. Sure. And, and when we wound up, we started out, uh, out of all these deer, we've shown you some magnificent deer. I, I think personally, my favorite deer, I mean, I like Pecos, don't get me wrong, because I love Gunslinger. I mean, that is a beautiful deer but I love Volt. And I think the takeaway from this for me is Volt, as far as paper goes, doesn't have as pretty a paper as Pecos does, but his look is beautiful. But the cool thing is a buyer, somebody come buying deer, buying does, you're gonna wind up with deer that have unbelievable potential. And because Volt literally, I mean, you sold his mom as a stalker. Come on, man. At this point, they all have the same potential to produce. And that's the thing that is exciting to me. And so if you're interested in, in and in, in taking advantage of some of those great genetics, you need to give Grant a call. So I remember years ago when I did a first show with you, uh, you were brand new, okay? And uh, I look at it and I think, did you ever think that you'd be at a position where you are now with such a beautiful piece of property? No, this has been a dream come true. Uh, I grew up here in town. We moved home to a bigger, beautiful ranch. Um, it's amazing. And and. The, it is it is beautiful. I mean, the wildlife is is astounding. I mean, the conservation model that they've done here is incredible. And so, if y'all want more information about Lone Hollow Whitetails and Tributary Sporting Clubs, you can get a hold of Grant Gardner, and he would love to talk to you. If you're watching online, you got any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And if you're not watching online, head on over to our YouTube channel. It's called the Deer Farming Channel, and make sure and subscribe where you can watch all of our shows 24/7. My name is Keith Warren and thanks for watching. Okay, so you've got property and you're wanting to build. Maybe a barn dominium, maybe deer facilities, or maybe a badass lodge. Well, you've got to check out Rafter P Construction. Rafter P Construction is the leading design build contractor across the state of Texas. Specializing in quality farm and ranch design build projects, Rafter P Construction encourages their customers to be very hands-on, incorporating your input into every aspect of your project with their in-house design teams. The goal of Rafter P Construction is to be your builder for life. Rafter P Construction, they'll be with you every step of the way to build your dream project. All the while, keeping quality and customer satisfaction at the forefront.